Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Arden. Let's check out this home. Now before we do again, real quick, right here is my free mobile app. Only works on phone, not desktop or PC. Go ahead and download it completely free and you can see homes as soon as they hit the market before sites like ZillRealtor.com and all those good ones. Let's check out this one. So, right here. Again, we are in Arden. This is a tri-point community. If you don't know who they are, they are formerly known as Par D, but they uh, lumped all of their subsidiary brands so that they are known across the country. Still tri-point quality, or excuse me, Par D quality, just under a new brand name. Again, we are in the Arden community. This is over in Inspirata. If you don't know where that is, we're in the southwest portion of Henderson. This one, I know this one is the plan one. I'll link to the actual model so you can see how it looks. 2,015 square feet, three bed, two and a half bath, and it's actually for sale under 500. They've done a lot of upgrades, so right off the bat, this covered, or excuse me, this enclosed courtyard, that's an upgrade. It's like five to $7,000. Do me that huge favor, hit the like button. Again, it really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you are new, make sure to subscribe. Again, I put videos out every single day. It was a little busy last week and I missed a couple days, but trying to get back to that one to two a day. This is awesome. You never get the yards done from the builder, ever. So with this one, your landscaping's done. They did the brick, they did all of the rock, they even landscaped. I love this. I'm just gonna come over here real quick. So you see all the way down, rocks. They did the backyard too, which is incredible. You never get the landscaping done. They did the higher elevation even. This home is pretty well specced. Again, if you wanna see new homes, thinking about going into the models or filling out information online, if you do, the builder will not let you be represented. Fun fact, as the buyer, you do not pay the realtor commission, the builder does. So if you want to see home schedule tours, all that good stuff, give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. So right here, you can see they're doing all of the final touch up. Look at the railing. They're getting ready to just finish this one up and get it sold. Right here we have our coat closet and it is nice. It does extend back on both sides, so pretty nice size coat closet. There's such an echo in here because there's no furniture or anything. They even did two-tone paint, so they did a really, really light gray. You might be able to see it here. They did the railings, they did the flooring. Normally what's gonna happen with new homes when you buy them, the flooring, it's gonna be hard surface flooring in the entry, kitchen, uh, bathroom, and laundry. Everywhere else will be carpet. So they upgraded the railing. Normally you get pony walls. You can see all the little touch-ups. They're gonna fix everything and make it really, really nice. They upgraded the carpet. They did the wood look tile. It's porcelain tile. Right here we have our powder room. And it's a pretty good size powder room. It's pretty deep. I mean, you could put a whole like uh, dresser here. It's nice with how big it is. We have our toilet and then we have our vanity. Now they upgraded this. This is not your standard uh, countertop. I believe the cabinets are standard, but I don't think normally you get hardware. I'll have to confirm. You have your toilet. We do have a Vegas window, but that being said, there's no windows on the other side. Maybe right there. I would still want to get a window treatment or contact paper, something like that, just because you, know, you want a little bit of privacy. And then again, now you can kind of see the two-tone. So normally when you buy a house, they only do white paint. Before we check on downstairs, let's go ahead and go on up. I really like the carpet they chose. It has like all these little striations in it. And no, it's not just because of the vacuum, that's actually the flooring. I love that they opened it up. It looks so much better with the uh, the non-pony wall with the railing. They even have a pre-wire cap right here. So if you want to do a big drop chandelier, that would be pretty cool. And then coming on up, 
So it's standard width here, and then it gets a bit wider with these stairs. So it really opens up. I know in one of the models I filmed either here or at uh, Latitude, they had a whole little sitting area right here. You can option this house to be a two bedroom in a loft and you lose the bedroom right here. But what's so cool about this, and I can't promise it because you never know what's gonna happen, but you can see the strip from here. And it gets even better as you go up. The one bedroom, or actually both the bedrooms have really nice strip views. I love how many windows are in here. So there's one right here, there's a total of four. I'll spin around and show you. And then real quick, this hallway area is so wide. So right here. Now again, they may build something along the lines way down here, but for the time being, the fact that you can see the strip is pretty nice. So one, two, three, four windows. Even all the little touch-ups, they're just gonna make it perfect. Like this is what I'm talking about. That's something, you can even see it. They're gonna fix that. They're gonna make it perfect. Coming on down the hall. Right here, we have our laundry room. And this is so cool too because they're including the washer and dryer and a nice washer and dryer at that. They even have the pedestals and everything. You have the shelf and you have a whole area right here for your hamper or anything like that. Spinning back down. I don't even have the light on in the hallway. Let me turn it on. Because there are so many windows and I'm filming this like at like 5.30 and there's still so much natural light. First bedroom. It's gonna appear smaller without furniture. So do keep that in mind. If your window, you have your pre-wire cap, they're gonna put a cap over that. I'll show you in the next bedroom, but if you wanna add your light ceiling fan, chandelier, anything like that, you are ready to go. And the nice thing about it is they're giving you three switches. So one is for this guy right here. They call them half hots it's for the floor lamp or uh, nightstand. The other two, one's gonna be for the ceiling fan and one is for the light. So you have your two door slider. And again, if you want to literally double the space inside the closet, you can move this up, you add a second one and you have doubled your closet space. Really quickly, fun little fact, since we're in the city of Henderson, that guy right there is part of your high pressure fire suppression system. So there's actually a sprinkler under that cap now it will pop only if like that certain one gets to, I believe 170, 180 degrees, not the whole entire house will flood. But two code out here in Henderson, you get fire suppression, which is really neat. Right here we have our Jack and Jill bath. So again, upgraded countertops. They did the undermounted sinks. I really like the colors that they spec with this one. And we have our toilet. We do have our Vegas window. Again, you're gonna want either contact paper and or like Nextdoor did, they did shutters. Some sort of blinds, something like that. The light's not even on above here. There is another light above the shower. You have a window. This is a fiberglass composite material tub. A lot of people like these because they're easy to clean. There's no grout lines or anything like that. You have your shower head, valve, tub filler. I do wish it had a soap niche, but at least you have the shelf right here for your soaps and shampoos. They have the rod right there, so if and when you get the home and you put the uh, curtain in, you already have the rod. You don't even have to buy that. I'm gonna come into this room and then I'll kind of show you around when we come out. So, this room is just slightly bigger. It does have a bump out right there. And then just so you can see what the cap will look like, they give you the cap to make it look a little bit more presentable. They'll throw the other one on when they get ready to sell. But again, they did the upgraded carpeting. I love how many windows are in this room. And this room again has incredible views. You, have, you can even see the mountains from here. Two door slider closet. The closet's maybe just a little bit tiny or a little bit smaller in here. But again, if you need more closet space, you move that bar and shelf up, add a second one. 
is actually a pretty nice size room. Again, it's deceiving when you don't see furniture in here. I'll link to the model tours I did in the community so you can actually see what it looks like with everything inside. I love the pony wall, or the non-pony wall, excuse me, I love the railing. Into the master. So four nice size windows, two will open, and it's a big room. And again, they're doing the same thing in here with the, the pre-wire cap up top. They're giving you those three switches, one for one of these outlets and then two, one being the fan, one being the light. Right here, coming into the bathroom. So again, upgraded flooring. I love this flooring. This hexagon. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a slate. Into our closet. So nice size closet. Again, maybe you throw one of these up add like another, what, 30% to the closet space, but you may not even need to. It is a pretty big closet. And then coming into the main bathroom portion. So, 100% upgrade. Normally you're gonna get fiberglass tub, shower. You can upgrade from fiberglass to, it will still be a fiberglass tub, but you get all tile everywhere else. Or you can do like this mega shower. I love the fact where they put the bar. So. This makes me so happy. The valves are in a correct position. So you open it up, you can turn it on and not be in the cold water. They did the rain shower head, they did the regular shower head, and then you have your bench. I really like how they spec'd it. Spinning around, we have all of our vanities. Again, same countertop as in the other ones. Same ca um, cabinets and same sink. This is cool how they did the two separate mirrors. So you couldn't add like a piece of art or something right there. And then what I would do, I would do pendants. So you have pendant lighting. I think that would be so neat to drop down a little bit, maybe like a foot or two. We have our toilet area. And I do appreciate that the door isn't right on top of the toilet so you can't get out. It's a big bathroom. There is a lot of space in here. Coming on out. Let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Again, if you could do me that huge favor, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Again, if you have questions about this one, any other home, please feel free to reach out to me. All my contact info is down in the description below. You can see they're gonna touch up every little thing. They're gonna make it perfect. Again, like right here. They're gonna fix that. They're gonna make it like beyond perfect with these homes. I really like how this builder operates. Again, TriPoint, how they're so nitpicky. So kitchen, we'd have dining area right here and living. So there's a lot of glass in here. We have five nice size windows. This is called a Smurf tube. So you drop your, uh, if you have, Cable, you drop the cable down here and it would go all the way down here. That way you don't see all the wires hanging out and whatnot. But it's a big room. I'm just gonna spin around. It's huge. <laughs> so, coming in to the kitchen. They obviously did upgrades in here. It's coming with all appliances too. So they did the 42 inch uppers. They did the countertops. I love this color combination. You could put four bar stools right here if you wanted to. I love, love, I'm such a fan of this backsplash. It is 3D, so it's really cool. They even did USB outlets on that one. So you have a double oven right here, five burner cooktop. You have your microwave. And you have it venting outside. So it's not just recirculating back in. I know I had one of those in college and it never got rid of the smoke and I would always set off the fire alarm. There's a good amount of counter space in here. Right here we have our island. We have our sink. The only thing I would wanna do, and it's like so minuscule, is I would just wanna change out this faucet. Just to something a little bit more fancier. But again, it's just 
strictly aesthetics. Here's your view. I love the fact that you can see all the way to the TV. It's just one big open room down here. But right here's our dishwasher and then our refrigerator. And normally refrigerators are not included with builders. So there's a lot of cabinet space and a lot of countertop in here. We have our window right here too, which is gonna let in more light. Now the garage is still locked. So I can't show you that, but it is a two car garage and here is your pantry. So not bad. What you can always do, since this is an eight foot door, they're doing eight foot doors downstairs, which is awesome instead of six foot eight, add another shelf. I am just gonna show you the backyard because I always say in all my tours, when you buy new, the backyard is not done. Well, um, I was wrong on this one. Builders never do backyards. This is done. And again, usually backyards are somewhere between 13 and 15,000. Uh, I would say between the front yard being done and the backyard and all the rock, because even all of this all the way down would normally be dirt. They did all the rock here. They did the landscaping. They're even gonna add another brick row. They did the pavers here, they did the grass. This may be somewhere around, it's a little bit smaller of a yard, so maybe maybe 10 grand, maybe 12, because they did a lot of rock all the way down to the front. Really nice, there's your hose bib. They even have a gas stub right there, so if you want to do a barbecue, you have the ability to do that. All in all, really, really nice house. Again, if you have questions on this one or any others, please give me a call. Love to answer any questions. Love to help you out in any way possible. Let me know what you think about this home. Is this your style? Do you like the colors? Are you against the white and darker countertops? I know some people really, really like the espresso. It's really clean though, really, really nice. This room is huge. Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.